All right, back at it with another video. I want to avoid these long layoffs that I've been having as of recently because that is not beneficial to the body of Mashiach or to the brethren that are waiting on me to share another word, encouraging words, some more revelation information, whatever. All right, so I'm going to show you something that most of you did not even know it was in your Bible. And in this video, I want to deal with the topic of false converts. All right, this is from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 7 and 8. Verse 7 says, Those that believe, Mashiach is precious to them. But those that are disobedient, the stone who is the Savior, whom some people disallow, this same stone has become the head. He is the chief. Verse 8, this Savior has become a stumbling, a rock of offense to those which stumble at the word. Now pay attention to this. Being disobedient. Why? Why are they being disobedient? Why? Check this out right here. See the last part? This is the reason they disobey. They were appointed to disobey. What does appointed mean? They were predestined. It was determined already that this was going to be their role. So you need to be aware because there are a lot of phonies in the body of Mashiach. I mean, the worldly people, it's easy to see where they stand. I mean, it's not hard to tell a worldly person from a believer or a professed believer. But you got your Judases in the body of Mashiach. That's why... Most of the churches are jacked up because you got your Judases, your spiritual horse that will never attain salvation in the body of Mashiach. They believe they are saved or they think they will be, but they're deceived and deceiving others. All right, and let's take a look at this same verse, 1 Peter 2.8. Let's take a look at the different versions. All right, this is the NIV version. It says that they stumble and disobey the message. They don't keep the commandments. They don't keep the feast days or, or at least try to acknowledge the proper Sabbaths if they can't keep them, which they should. I know Paul said that it was just for Yasharel and not the Gentiles, but so be it. They, they, they don't acknowledge the proper Sabbath. They don't want to keep the, they want to keep all these pagan, pagan days, all these pagan names for the Messiah. They're not sealed with the Ruach. They're not sealed with the true names. So what do they have? They have a counterfeit spirit. So as it says here. See that? They disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. So that is their portion. So they were damned from the get-go. New Living Translation says, says the same thing. They stumble because they do not obey Yah's word. And so they meet the fate that was planned for them. See? They don't know that Savior is in the business of damning people. Predestining them. They must have done something bad or they just must have been really bad persons in a certain area. Bad souls, I should say. For them to have this type of fate. You know... No matter how they act out here in the world. There's something in them that we can't see that Messiah sees. Or maybe didn't deem them worthy to receive salvation. Because maybe they weren't willing to lay it all down. I don't know. But you need to... I always say that the most dangerous uh, people are those within the body of Mashiach. Because those outside, it's not hard to tell. So you need to be mindful of that. You got your Judases. Alright, English Standard Version says the same thing. They stumble because they disobey the word as they were destined to do. So all these different Bible versions says the same thing. So for those that don't believe in predestination, you know, I don't know what to tell you. All these years you read the Bible over and over, you didn't understand it. Well, now you will. Hopefully, 
So they stumbled because they disobeyed the message, and to this they were appointed. See, Berean study Bible, Berean literal Bible says the same thing. They are disobedient to the word to which also they were appointed. They stumble, they disobey, they don't keep the commandments, they think the law was done away with. They want to do whatever they want. They have a false counterfeit spirit of the Antichrist. And to this doom they were also appointed, damned from the get-go. You know? They stumble at the word, being disobedient. Remember, two-thirds of Yasharel, they're going to be destroyed. Well, don't be surprised because some of them, you know, this verse right here is describing them. They are disobedient because they were appointed to be disobedient. They weren't appointed to be renewed. So they were always going to be messed up from the start. Reprobate. Spiritually, they're not all there. Yeah, they may seem like brilliant people if you go by worldly standards, but if you measure them up by what the scripture says, by the commandments of the Most High, yeah? They're reprobate or retarded if you want to put it in harsh words. So they stumble, they disobey the message, they were destined for this. You see that? Holman Christian Bible says the same thing. They were destined for this. International Standard Version, they stumble, they disobey the word. The word is Yesha. And also, in a literal sense, the word, the scriptures, they don't understand them, they don't obey them because they don't understand them. Why don't they understand them? They were destined to not understand them, right? So, Net Bible, I'm going over these. I want people to just to, you know, engrave it in your mind. Not everybody's going to keep the commandments. And I do mean the ones that are supposed to seal you in your mind. By the Ruach, they, they're going to disobey, they're going to fall short because they were destined to. So, they don't obey the word. Again, Aramaic Bible. For they were appointed to this. That is their destiny. See, the people tripped over the word because they refused to believe it. Why don't they believe? They might believe a couple of things, but they might not believe that they need to keep the true name. They need to acknowledge the proper Sabbath. If not, keep it. You know, and all these other mysteries that are in the scriptures. They don't believe because this is how they are destined to end up. Non-believers. So you got your false converts. They are disobedient to the word. To this doom they were also appointed. Jubilee's Bible says the same thing. Not obeying that for which they were ordained. To which they were also appointed, being disobedient, King James 2000 Bible, American. They also were appointed. So you could just read all these verses here. Or well, I should say this same verse in different versions, and it says the same thing, all right? So, I mean, man, I don't know what to say. They were appointed for this. So it shouldn't be a surprise why you have to keep telling people over and over, hey, that's not the name of the Messiah. Don't use it. You're showing verses. They ignore it. Hey, don't keep these uh, feast days. They're pagan. Mash uh, Mashiach doesn't take them lightly. Uh, you know, hey, this is the Sabbath. You see, they don't look it. They just, they're sluggards. They, they don't do, they don't seek because they're not meant to seek. And they're, don't get me wrong. There are some. They are not appointed for this, but they're going to fall short because they're not doing the, all the right things that they need to do to receive salvation, to be rewarded with salvation. So there's many different things going on within the body of Mashiach. You have those that are just worldly, satanic, they work for the enemy. You have some that are just out there in the world with no purpose, and then you have the body of Mashiach, and you have your reprobates in there, and you also have those that are called, and those that are called, they will fall short too, some of them. There'll be some that overcome, and then you have your elect, those that are set in stone, that for sure they have salvation. 
So John 6, 64, look what it says here. Consider the last verse we just went over. Okay, so here this one says that there are some of you that believe not. This is Mashiach speaking. There are some of you that believe not. Just as there are some among us that believe not. Why? Remember, they were predestined for that. For Yasha knew from the beginning who they were that believed not. How did he know from the beginning? Because he set it up like that. He was not going to grant them salvation for whatever reason. Only he knows. But he knew. How else would he know? Because he's the one who predestined them not to receive it. So he's telling you, look, there's some of you that believe not. I know from the beginning who are they. Why? Because, again, predestined. And look what it says. And who should betray him? Your Judas is, right? Judas. He had work for Judas. So just because he's using somebody to work for him doesn't mean he's going to save them. So he knew who was going to betray him. Just as it's going to be like our Judas. And Judas is amongst us, you know. If you put them on the spot, these Christians, they're going to... You know they're gonna they're gonna be off. You know we might not hear about it, but there, there's something in them spiritually that is not right. They won't get the truth. They'll get the the Babylonian Christianity cult that they're in, or whatever Islam or all these world religions. They're all cults, so they'll be stuck in one of them. And they just seem like nice people, you know, but they're they're as fake as they come, man. So yeah, I mean. These verses are in your Bible, and most of us aren't aware of this, but they all connect. The, ver the last verse we just went over in this one, see, you can read it. All these different Bible versions of these same verses, they tell you the same thing, you know. There are some that don't believe, but saving you from the beginning, those who would not believe, those who weren't believing, they say they believe, or they think they believe, but they're deluded. They don't know it. But there are some among us who do not believe. Yasha himself knew from the first who they were who were not believing. So just read these here, I mean. So that's all I wanted to share. Because there are some false converts among us. And usually the false converts that I see are those that are very loving, or supposedly seem loving. They don't rebuke, they don't exhort. They're always sharing like all these sweet messages. That's when you know something's wrong. If, if it's not a balanced message, if they're not rebuking people, reproving them, and also, of course, you can't be all one-sided just being a, uh, like a... Like a lion, you know, always blah, getting on people. Oh, you messed up here, you messed up. You can't be like that, like a Pharisee, right? So you got to preach the gospel as well. The love message of why Christ died on the cross and all that. But if they're leaning one way too much, if they're too critical, then that, they may, something may be off. They might be a Pharisee. Like those you see that preaching doom and gloom and they can't wait to get their hands on you know, the oppressor and we want to kill him and all they act like, I don't know, it's just crazy. And then you have those that are preaching the, the love message, you know, and they don't see none of these scriptures that I'm showing you. Both of these groups are wrong, you know. So you need to be careful with these because these are false converts, you know. So that's all I have for this video and I hope it opens your eyes and enlightens your mind. That not everyone is going to get saved. And just because they're laboring for Savior doesn't mean that they are meant for salvation. So be careful. You know, some of these people are, you know, might be your husbands, wives, family members. You know, hey. So you be careful, man. That's all I'm saying. So stay prayed up. Stay suited up. Stay vigilant. Be active in the faith. Till next time. Shalom.